Interdependence. Coalitions. Innovative. I think the business of health is a necessary connection between the altruistic view of medicine and the grounded view of business as a practice. This can be interpreted in many ways. For certain people exploiting the use of medicine for monetary profit, but I like to look at it as a challenge of how can we convince non-believers that healthcare and the institutions surrounding it can benefit society both altruistically and monetarily. To me, the business of health means taking an interdisciplinary approach to healthcare, public health, and wellness. I think that uniting business and health allows us to consider the incentives at play in the healthcare market and how those incentives can be leveraged to obtain better health for individuals and populations. Ideally, the business of health is solution-focused rather than problem-focused by helping people achieve optimal health as opposed to treating illness. To me, the business of health encompasses the intersection of health equity, affordability, and innovation. It means creating a healthcare system that is accessible and affordable to all individuals regardless of their background. The business of health means creating a healthcare system that is equitable, affordable, and innovative, where everyone has equal opportunity to access high quality healthcare services and achieve optimal health outcomes. A lot of my work with you this year with HBHI has been surrounding cultural competency and both the challenges and values it brings to the workplace. In my research with Dr. Edmosia, I found that taking the time to connect with your circle, whether it be your patients, your peers, or anyone else, with their own cultures and experiences, create more positive health outcomes without any large-scale changes in infrastructure. Through HBHI, I've been able to hear from faculty across Johns Hopkins and other institutions, as well as industry, industry professionals, to learn about solutions to healthcare problems across industries and disciplines. These conversations have inspired me to think about better alignment between health and public health in particular. In my work planning the inaugural HBHI Business of Health Conference with other students and faculty, I've had the chance to think about which voices need to be in the room to build cross-disciplinary coalitions to shape the business of health. My mentorship experience with Dr. Kevin Frick through HBHI has allowed me to explore the intersectionality of business and health and define what the business of health means to me. In addition to my work with Dr. Edmosia, what's been very valuable to me has been the relationships I've formed with my fellow cohort. Not only have I learned from their experiences in healthcare, whether it be through CARI or through their prior work experiences, I've also learned the importance of establishing and cultivating relationships in order to achieve both my own goals and the goals of like-minded individuals here at the Cary Business School. My most valuable experience with HBHI has been meeting and getting to know the rest of the Graduate Institute cohort. It's been exciting to hear what other students are interested in and learn from people with different backgrounds that all center in some way around health. My most valuable experience with HBHI has been the people that I've met and the relationships that I've built here. I've had the opportunity to explore my own career goals as well as being exposed to many other facets of business of healthcare. When we think of the business of health, we think of the interdependence of disciplines, of the coalitions needed to create an impact, and of the innovative solutions that emerge from taking new perspectives. Our time in HBHI has informed this definition and has sparked curiosity and excitement about what we can do to make change in the business of health as we graduate and head out into the world.